The 3R85 is a single-axis prosthetic knee joint which provides a reliable, secure, and dynamic rotary hydraulic solution for active users. It is waterproof for fresh and saltwater use, equipped with a manual lock mode and a bicycle mode for added functionality. For the correct bench alignment values, please refer to the display table and the instructions for use document. The Autobach Prosaw assembly, shown here, is designed for increasing accuracy in the bench alignment of transtibial and transfemoral prostheses and can help save time with static and dynamic alignment. Looking at the frontal view, the alignment reference line runs through middle of the prosthetic foot, middle to outer edge of the knee, and middle to slightly lateral of the socket. The static alignment should now be adjusted solely by changes to foot plantar flexion, so that the alignment reference line runs about 30 millimeters anterior to the knee axis. To access the knee resistance and threshold setting dials, Remove the black cap from the front of the knee. Shown here at the upper part of the knee are the stance flexion, swing flexion, and swing extension resistance dials. The stance release threshold dial is located on the lower part of the knee. Before fitting, please adjust the initial settings to the values found in the Instructions for Use document. With this setting of stance flexion resistance, our model feels minimal support when sitting down. The stance flexion resistance setting should be evaluated by incrementally turning the dial in the plus direction. Here, the model must compensate because the stance flexion resistance is too high. Therefore, the setting resistance must be reduced by turning the dial in the minus direction. This setting is optimal for our model. Notice how he uses the 3R85's hydraulic resistance to sit down with equal weight on both legs. When the stance flexion resistance is correct for sitting down, our model demonstrates how to start using stance flexion while walking by practicing the yielding motion in the parallel bars. Should a so-called hitch occur, the stance phase of the knee is not releasing properly into swing phase. In this case, the stance release threshold needs to be gradually turned in the minus direction with a four millimeter Allen wrench. Once optimally adjusted, you can see the knee smoothly release into swing. Our model demonstrates how a fluid motion sequence triggers stance release. First, the knee joint is shown with a swing flexion resistance set at the minimum. At higher walking speeds, the model has to wait too long for the prostheses to reach full extension at heel strike. At maximum resistance, an unsafe condition is created for most people. This is shown only as an example. Please do not maintain this setting unless absolutely necessary. In order to achieve an optimal setting, the swing flexion resistance must be adjusted for each person. With the swing extension setting at minimum, a terminal impact moment will be felt by the person wearing the prostheses. The swing extension resistance should be gradually increased by turning the dial in the plus direction. As shown here, a too high swing extension resistance setting means that the knee joint no longer comes into full extension, which could lead to a fall. 
optimizing the swing extension resistance setting ensures the 3R85 knee will reach full extension at heel strike. The swing extension setting must be adjusted for each individual. Please adjust the stance flexion resistance so that the prosthetic knee does not bend too fast or too slow during stair descent. At this point, the stance flexion resistance is set too low. The prosthesis bends too quickly and the model lands hard on his right foot. Here, the stance flexion resistance is set too high and needs to be incrementally decreased. Once optimized, the person wearing the prostheses should feel sufficient support at an appropriate velocity. Please also view the Dynion user training video for help learning proper stairs descent techniques. At this point, the stance flexion resistance is set too low. The knee bends too quickly and prevents the model from taking balanced steps. The stance flexion resistance must be increased in small increments. Here, the stance flexion resistance is set too high. The knee bends very slowly and the model feels insecure and will frequently compensate with excessive hip rotation. When walking down the ramp, the stance flexion resistance setting needs to be gradually decreased to find a comfortable, controlled, yielding resistance. Please also check the swing extension setting. As a final check if the swing and stance phase settings are optimally set, our model walks with varying speeds and step lengths. Also practice small and quick steps to ensure stance phase threshold release is optimized. At this point, all adjustments have been made and our model is walking comfortably and confidently. Please put the protective cap back on the knee joint. With the Dynia knee, it is possible to adjust the pylon longer, up to 13 millimeters from full insertion. Please make sure to apply 10 newton meters of torque when tightening the clamp screw. By pushing the bicycle tab at mid-knee level, the knee will release into free swing for riding a bicycle. Be careful to only use this mode for bicycling. The walking tab on the opposite side must be pushed to re-engage stance flexion resistance. Carefully check the function before starting to walk again. To engage the manual lock, the knee must be in full extension. Once loaded, push the lock tab. Verify that the knee is locked. Before the person wearing the prosthesis can begin walking again, it is important to make sure the manual lock is disengaged. Please contact Autobach for the most current version of the 3R85 Dynion Instructions for Use manual. Please also view the Dynion user training video 
for proper techniques taught by a physical therapist and demonstrated by a model user.